Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the magnitude and direction theta of the resultant force FR. And it is said that express the result in terms of the magnitudes of the components F1 and F2 and the angle phi, right? So, F1 and F2 are the components of this FR, right? So, we have to find the FR magnitude in terms of F1, F2 and this phi angle, right? So, now as we can see that F2 is acting in the horizontal direction, right? So, let me draw the positive x and y axis, right? This is the positive x and y axis, let's say. So, as we can see that this F2 is acting in the positive x direction, right? So, this means that F2 x is equal to F2, right? And similarly, F2 y is equal to 0 since F2 is acting only in the positive x direction, right? And similarly, if we resolve this F1 into its components, right? So, it will have uh, one component which will be acting in the positive x direction like this right and it will have one component which will be acting in the positive y direction like this right so this one is f1 x right so we can write that f1 x is the cos component right so this is f1 cos of phi right and similarly this f1 y this is the sine component right so we can write that f1 y is f1 sine of phi right so the the rx component of the resultant right so we can write that f r x right the component of the resultant in the x direction will be equal to f1 x plus f2 x right so as we can see that f1 x is f1 cos of phi so we can write that this is f1 cos of phi and f2 x is f2 right and similarly, F R Y will be equal to F 1 Y plus F 2 Y. So, F 1 Y is this F 1 sine of phi and F 2 Y is 0, right? So, this means that F R Y is F 1 sine of phi, right? So, this means that the F R magnitude we can apply the Pythagoras theorem, right? So, we can write that this is equal to f r x square plus f r y square under the square root, right? So, we can write that f r, right? So, f r x is this thing, right? So, we can write that this is f 1 cos of pi plus f 2 square plus this is f 1 sine of pi whole square. Right, and we will take the square root. Right, so if I apply the a plus b formula, a plus b whole square formula, right, so then this will be f1 square cos square phi plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos of phi, and this will be plus f1 square sine square phi. So if we add up this term, if we add up, if we combine this term and this term, right, so we can take f1 common, right, so f1 square and this will be cos square phi plus sine square phi plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos of phi and we will take the square root, right, so cos square plus sine square, this is equal to 1, right, so we can write that fr magnitude is f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos of phi right so if i show the components of the resultant right let me show it on this free body diagram right so this is f r x right and this is f r y right this is f r y and this whole component right this whole purple one right so this is f r x and this is angle theta right so the magnitude is this thing right and to find this angle theta we can apply tan theta to this triangle right so tan theta 
is f r y divided by f r x right so we can write it in theta so f r y is f 1 sine of pi divided by f r x so we can write that this is f 1 cos of phi plus f 2 and to find theta we can write it as 10 inverse f 1 sine of phi divided by f1 cos of phi plus f2 right so this is the resultant magnitude in terms of f1 f2 and phi and this is the angle theta in terms of f1 f2 and the angle phi right so this is the solution of this particular problem